Greetings. Now, if you follow this channel, you might be aware that recently I shared with you a hack that you could do to experience pretty much any game in augmented reality on your Oculus Quest. Now, I put this out there and someone from Reddit went and took it and then built on it and did some really cool things in augmented reality that you're seeing here using this particular hack. Unfortunately, in the very next update, Oculus removed this ability to actually experience anything in augmented reality. Now, as I said, it wasn't an official thing, it was a hack. So it was more like a bug really. And so Oculus basically removed that bug in their next version update, which was a shame because it was quite a cool feature. However, recently Oculus has started to support officially augmented reality in Oculus Quest. And that means now developers have begun to experiment with this technology. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two tech demos that use this augmented reality technology. These demos you can get from SciQuest right now by sideloading onto your Oculus Quest. And you'll need version 31 installed on your Oculus Quest or higher. Uh, it also has some other requirements too, some other extra things you need to do in addition to sideloading. I won't go through all of that, the instructions are on the side quest, so when you go check out those games, it will tell you what you need to do. It's quite straightforward to get it started. So like I said, these are tech demos. You might not find them that enjoyable, but they're not really meant to be. They're just novel experiences, so you could get to experience augmented reality in your Oculus Quest. So I do recommend giving them a go, just so you can experience that for yourself if you haven't already. Anyway, let's check it out. So let's start with the Cactus Cowboy path through demo. Now Cactus Cowboy actually has a few VR games too that you can get for free. I think most of them are also on App Lab. So here we are in the AR mode right now. We've got a selection of guns. You can see I can see the entire room that I am in right now. Over there we have this Cactus dude and here is my selection of guns. I think I might go for the AK-47. Why not? And oh, it starts right away. Here we go. Oh, I'm, I'm surrounded already by these. Or they joker things and they seem to have guns as well. You can reload the gun with a clip and cock it back. Uh, they have dynamite on legs. I don't know what's weird of being in this AR environment or these strange things coming at me. They seem to be coming from outside the walls. I wonder if they could ever make it so that they appear inside your play space. It might make it seem a bit more realistic. Ooh, Matrix bullet style dodge there. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we got health, here we do, 47, not too bad. Seems so weird still, seeing my hands as cactus stumps. Now there's a sentence I never thought I would hear myself say. It is, it's pretty cool, like it's a decent experience. I mean, I wouldn't be playing this for hours on end. It's worth a five, 10 minute go just for the fact that it's such a novelty. It actually reminds me of hand tracking when that first came out. There were no real official Oculus supported experiences from what I remember. And we had to go to SideQuest to download these kind of tech demo games so we could just experience it in a game kind of environment. And it seems to be the same kind of thing here. We're getting these tech demos coming through on SideQuest. The people just playing around with this new AR stuff. And, you know, it works decently well. I mean, the cameras aren't great on the Oculus Quest 2. It's still this black and white grainy image. I imagine when Quest 3 comes along, the external tracking cameras will be in color, will be better quality, and be able to support this kind of AR kind of thing and give you a much better AR experience. You know, I'd be interested to see how developers make use of this. Like I say, because you are limited by the tracking cameras and their quality, I'm not sure many games will be using this. But of course, this is just a start. I do like where Oculus is heading with this. I think in the future, we'll have headsets that are both capable of quality VR and quality AR experiences, sort of all-in-one headset like that. Just look at all these uh, decapitated bodies around me. Looks like just a bunch of Lego blocks. It actually reminds me of my son's playroom once he's, he's finished trashing the place. He just gets all these blocks out and it's just a ton of crap all over the floor to clean up. Ooh, that was a close one. Jump back into my AR demo. This, so this is a lot simpler, this AR demo. Um, but let's check it out anyway. I think you can do things like create cubes and play around with the, the visuals a bit, but that's, that's about it. By the way, you can see my high-tech camera set up over here. I uh, couldn't be bothered to take out all of my equipment, so I've got this uh, swivel chair. It actually works really well because it helps me turn the camera in the angle I want and it's really easy to set up. 
And uh, so if you're wondering what that is, that's what that is. So we got this Oculus logo. I think this is like the developer kit, except it has a few changes to it. And then you can fire cubes like this. It obviously only detects the simulated floor. It doesn't detect the fact that there's a staircase there. It's not that advanced yet. Um, so it doesn't interact more like external environment. So you can do things like this, I think, as well. So I can change the camera. So what does this do? It makes the edges glow. That's pretty trippy. Oh, that's weird. Let's see this picture up here. I can still make things out. Yeah, that's bizarre. Okay, let's just take that down a bit. Brightness. Wow. In heaven. We're in Bruce Almighty. This is like... I expect Morgan Freeman to approach me right now and start being the voice of God or something. Wow, that's pretty cool. Contrast. Yep. Posturize. Okay. I don't know what that means, but it makes things look really weird. Oh, cool. All right. That's a bit weird. It's tripping me out, actually. I better turn it down again. Yeah, it's making me feel a bit weird, that. Um, and we've got a flashlight here as well, so it's like, that's really cool. I like that. You can imagine if they did some, how they would use that in future. I'm not sure how, but some kind of exploration detective game or something. That'd be really cool. And there's my boundary there as well coming up. Yeah. So that's about the, the, I think this is, that's the demo. Like I said, not much to it. What's this thing? Brush, trigger to grab. Oh, here we go. No, we can do other things. Okay. We can, oh, look at that. I can make a window into the real world. That's insane. Now that's pretty cool. It's like I'm going through a portal. I step through it. Can I step through it? No, I can't. Okay. It looks like you can go through, but you can't. You just go to the other side. It's like a window. That's weird. That's really weird. Uh, a or X to undo. Okay, you can undo. Thumb stick to dolly. Okay. Oh, so go back and forward with it, basically. Trigger to draw. That's bizarre. Okay. Not sure exactly what the point of that is, but, you know, it's strange. Maybe, let's look, we've got different colors here. Maybe I can, oh, I can change the edge colors as well. Look at that. All right. So I can make blue, yellow, red. Oh, that is strange. Whoa. That is strange. And, oh, wow. Wow, this is like the closest thing you can get to being on drugs without being on drugs. This is bizarre. You switch your brightness right down, edge alpha up all the way. Wow, this is like like Tron or something, the AR version of Tron. This is strange. Let's take a seat. Wow. <laughs> oh, you can see on my hairs. This is weird. I don't know how else to describe it. It's weird. It's really weird. Let's try to talk. Just see how yeah. Yeah, this is... Um, yeah, this is cool. Worth a try. You're not going to play it for hours at an end. It's not that enjoyable, but it's it's really weird. Uh, good experience. Definitely try it out. So what do you think of those tech demos? For me, I didn't find them that enjoyable. I won't be going back to them again, but I am glad that I did experience them for myself. It, for anything, it makes me excited for the future of virtual reality and where developers might take it and how they might use augmented reality if not on the oculus quest 2 on future oculus quests when the tracking cameras might be a bit better quality so you can have a better augmented reality experience anyway that's it for me for now as always thank you for watching this video and i'll catch you in the next one